we are going to be checking out the brand new Halloween update on a Dusty Trip. Let's get right into this. So in this update, they added two new cars and also a brand new Halloween world called the Hollow. So this is probably why the past two updates have been pretty bad because I guess they've been focusing on this update right here. That's also why I haven't been uploading as much because in the past updates, all they added were like charms, which charms aren't very cool in my opinion. So I just haven't made a video on them. Anyway, we'll go ahead and check out this car in a different video, but let's just go ahead and jump right into the game and check out this brand new hollow world we're now in the brand new world and this is already looking pretty cool also i just realized i think they removed the dunes map so i don't think you can play that anymore and wait this is one of the brand new cars they added so this is just the starter car which i believe we can also unlock this car to use in other maps after we like complete this map right here similar to how we could unlock the sand cruiser car on the dunes map we should be able to unlock this one as well and wait, let's just go ahead and completely build it though also by the way i am on the test server right now so if few things may change whenever the update actually releases since just whenever it releases all of this stuff shouldn't be here but since i am on the test server we might as well just check it out so a pumpkin launcher let's get attached that and then right here let's see what this is and i think this is like a special bomb so we'll just attach that to the top as well there's also all these weapons over here let's see what this is i wonder if this is a bomb let's go and click it and let's drop it i mean it did turn on and all right it looks like nothing's happening so hopefully it doesn't randomly blow up and anyway, it looks like we got a special scythe right here so we'll take this so we attached the scythe to the top of our car and we went ahead and fueled it up i am gonna grab two extra gas canisters just in case because you never know this car could end up like draining all of our gas so let's just make sure we have some backups and anyway, it looks like that's pretty much everything in here so let's get and hop in and let's start driving so hopefully this thing is decently fast and so far it does kind of look like it yeah we are zooming right now and anyway, wait let's get and turn right also this map is already looking pretty cool and this is also my first time seeing this map as well i haven't tested it at all yet so this is my first impression and anyway, it looks like we already found the town which i'm assuming this won't be this close whenever the update releases but i mean we might as well check it out since we're already here and never mind i just realized this town we don't have to find hide anything here i think but we just walk up to the houses and we can trick or treat so let's go and ring the doorbell and then someone should give us some candy or maybe not all right well it looks like there's no one at this one let's go and try this door and hopefully someone can give us some candy and all right well there's a witch right there don't know where they went and oh never mind we actually fell into their trap all right well i'm assuming we'll have to defeat them now this person is actually pretty cool though that looks quite crazy and they want to turn us into candy let's actually go and grab this weapon and no it flung my car and oh make sure we watch out for the spikes well i guess we can grab this it does glitch sometimes and anyway, we could use the scythe but i think it would be better if we use the ak so they're currently invisible so we gotta wait for them to like drop their guard and i think now might be our moment i don't think so though and oh it looks like they actually spawn in ghosts so we gotta kill these ones there we go there's one and then we gotta kill this one as well there we go let's make sure we reload so at the top of the screen it says they're currently invincible so we just have to wait for that to go away and all right there we go we can go ahead and attack them and dang we barely did any damage so let's go and do that again and all right they're down for quite a while so we can just spam them i think i do have a minigun in my backpack so i might end up grabbing that but anyway look at their health bar we took away a third of their health that's decent but let's see if we still have our minigun in our backpack and i actually can't spawn in oh right here there we go so there's our minigun let's go and grab this just so we can actually kill him a lot faster so there we go they spawned in some more things so there's a skeleton dude over there and then two pumpkin people and oh those people actually gave us some candy i'm not sure what we spend the candy on but we'll probably figure that out later on anyway their power is down once again so let's go and spam them with the minigun and hopefully this obliterates their health and actually i don't think it's doing a crazy amount and i'm still spamming I mean, um, and all right, I think there's actually a limit on how much damage you can do. So even if you're using a minigun or an AK-47, you'll still do like the same amount of damage in the amount of time. Anyway, let's just continue to dodge these spikes. And then after these spikes, they should spawn in like some mutants or whatever. So yep, there we go. And now let's go and finish off all of these ones. And we killed all of them and just dodged their like acid attack right there. And there we go, their power is gone. So this should be the last time we have to shoot them. So hopefully we don't run out of ammo beforehand. But anyway, there we go, they're almost dead. And in one more second, and let's go. So we finished them off, I believe. And we gained a total of nearly 100 candy. And never mind, it's still going up. All right, so it looks like we got 180 candy total from that. That's actually quite good. Not sure what we spend it on, but that's quite nice. It also looks like they gave us the spy 
spider thing a spider gun all right and oh it looks like we actually shoot spider webs that's pretty cool can we run through them and yes we can all right well anyway let's just attach that to the side of a car and maybe we'll test it on the next boss and well let's go and hop in and let's just keep driving and i'm not sure if they're gonna like keep this car the same but currently on the test server it goes crazy fast like look how fast we're going right now and wait it looks like we made it to the next landmark also once again these landmarks won't be this close together i'm assuming there'll be one landmark every like 2.5 thousand meters similar to how it was on the previous map and oh we actually need to get inside the house because we are taking a ton of damage right now so anyway let's run in here and all right we're inside let's go and grab this ak just in case and it looks like our health is going back up now and all right it says we now have to survive the horde so let's see what that means hopefully we can survive this one and oh i actually see a few zombies outside so let's wait for them to like get close to the door just so we can kill them even easier and all right there's one let's go and shoot them there we go that was pretty easy we just gotta make sure that we keep reloading just to make sure we don't run out of ammo and we also can't go outside or else we're gonna start dying again so we just gotta stay in here and oh it actually looks like there's multiple waves as well so we completed wave one but now we got complete wave two hopefully there aren't even more because if even more of them spawn then this might might be a lot more difficult and all right we just completed wave two so hopefully the third wave is the final one and there we go we complete the final wave so let's go and hop back in our car we'll leave the ak behind because we'll probably end up finding another one and well let's go and turn the car back on and yeah once again this car is just so fast that i wonder if they're gonna keep it the same so the next landmark should only be like 50 meters ahead and as i said like three times already they'll probably be like 2.5 thousand meters apart whenever the update releases in the regular game so don't expect them to be this close and it looks like we found a tunnel but it's blocked by like a magical barrier so let's see what that means i think that means we actually have to go up the hill so we could drive up there but i think it would be better just to run up there on foot and well let's make sure we're still good on gas and yeah we're still chilling and it actually might be difficult to get back on the road just because of how high up it is so hopefully that doesn't become a problem later on we're now at the top of the hill and there's the witch right there that we just defeated there's some zombies and oh it looks like we actually got me over here all right well that is pretty cool hey guys king kade here that is crazy well that's pretty cool though so if you get up here make sure to go over to this corner and check that out for a little easter egg i guess anyway it looks like we got a skeleton over there as well in a ghost and i'm assuming that we're gonna have to fight another boss up here so let's go and grab an ak and is that the boss i think it is the headless horseman and he put his head on and this is looking quite crazy right now and wait there he is i wonder if he's invincible i haven't seen his health bar just yet but i mean that animation of him putting his head on was quite cool yeah it looks like he is invincible right now so we'll just wait a moment until his powers are gone and wait it looks like we just gotta jump over these things and all right let's see what that is <laughs> and oh snap yeah we definitely don't want to get hit by those also it looks like on this map your health does regenerate quite quickly so if you end up getting hit then you should be fine and it looks like he's spawned in some monsters let's go and kill these people there we go pretty easy he'll probably spawn in some more later on and oh that ability is pretty cool as well it's kind of the same as the one on the dunes map but i mean overall still pretty cool and oh it looks like the witch is actually stopping his powers right now so let's go and shoot him while we can and hopefully this brings him down to like at least half health and oh never mind it's not doing nearly as much damage as i thought it would and oh there we go he broke out so i think we actually might have to do that four times this time just because of how much health he has and now he's putting an even more change from two directions yeah this is already much harder than before and there we go his powers are down once again so let's go and fire our whole magazine into him and there we go that time we were able to bring him down quite a bit so i think we might actually be able to defeat him the next time it comes around so there we go he's almost dead only in a couple more bullets and there we go let's go and dang he just exploded and oh he actually gave us the pumpkin launcher awesome so it looks like that's how we get the pumpkin launcher so we'll go ahead and test this out on the next boss we see but anyway now that we did that the final gate should open up but anyway this right here is so cool i wish we could actually free me but i don't think we can here let's actually go and shoot the pumpkin launcher at it and let's see what that did and no well it looks like instead of freeing me they actually just deleted me all right well i guess we shouldn't have done that anyway let's attach this one to our car as well i think if we attach it like right here it should be fine and all right well i guess that kind of flung it which actually to get this back on the road we should be able to grab this 
to kind of fling it back over there. And I think that actually kind of worked. So I mean, let's hop back in. Let's put this down. And yes, that did actually work. And I might have just drove off again. And up there we go. We align ourselves. So let's see if we have headlights. And yes, we do. All right, those headlights are actually coming in clutch. And anyway, let's just quickly drive through this tunnel. Looks like there's not too much that we can like run into. But there we go. So that checkpoint was actually pretty cool though. Which it looks like we actually can't pass that checkpoint unless we defeat the boss anyway. On the dunes map, you could just drive past all the checkpoints if you really wanted to. But that one you needed to defeat the boss to go ahead and lock the tunnel. So I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, that actually might have been the final boss. And I asked a few people and it looks like the Hellas Horseman back there was actually the final boss. So those two boss fights were pretty cool. But I thought there would have been a few more. And anyway, wait, now that we're driving, there's all these other buildings that we can find. And anyway, wait, I think we actually might be able to get candy at these buildings as well. I'm not too sure. Let's go and check it out though. So let's go and ring the doorbell. And yeah, this person actually gave us candy. All right, so it looks like if you find a building, you can stop there, bring it, get some candy. And then you can also go ahead and gain some loot inside of it. So apparently we can spend this candy on wheel spins in the lobby. So let's go and jump over there and check it out. We're now back in the lobby. So I believe we can use our candy over here on the spooky spin. And yes, we can. So we currently have 10 spins. And I'm assuming we get like 10 spins every day. But anyway, we can go ahead and get the zombie grenade right here for 0.7%. And we can also get the Inferno Fury car. And then we can also get some wraps and some charms. So those are pretty cool. And 400 candy per spin. That is quite pricey. But I mean, candy is pretty easy to get. So I guess it's not that bad. Because you can stop at multiple buildings between each landmark, ring the doorbell, and you should get quite a bit of candy. So overall, it's not too bad. I mean, these are pretty rare to get, like the Inferno Fury 0.3% chance. That's quite crazy. I think if it was like 1% chance, then that would kind of make up for it. But 0.3 is quite crazy. Anyway, I'll go ahead and make a video on this in just a moment, checking out how good it actually is, and hopefully it's actually worth getting. But anyway, that is going to be all for this video though, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.